Hello and welcome to the T-Gray Pup channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I got a dress that fits my new build body. If this topic interests you, then please keep watching. Okay, so initially I wanted to do the costume of a um, 101 Dalmatians with Cruella de Vil uh, was the look I was going for. So I went on Amazon and I was looking over a couple of things. I was thinking about wigs, um, particularly these, these here um, and um, this wig here. I wanted to do something like um, the 1980s, uh, very mullet look. Um, because uh, that was the look I was going for for my sp specific um, Cruella de Vil. As you can see, here's a similar haircut. It's just curled differently and there's a little bit different lengths on each picture. But that's the look I was going for. And the red was supposed to be, I don't know, like a, a clutch here or something. I was going to have the 80 shoulder, shoulder pads, which I'm a man, so I don't know if I really needed that. But it would... It wouldn't hurt to be extra with it and here's ones with like rhinestones or whatever on it uh, I definitely thought I would might need like a pendant or something like in red just to um, I don't know just kind of like uh, with the look you know what I'm saying that's what I was thinking of so uh, just little accent of red with the, the black and white basically so I didn't know if I wanted to get the fur or the cap or the gloves or as you'll see the necklace so it was pretty much a, a done deal right here so I was just trying to figure out um, what style I wanted to go for well I had an idea of what style I wanted to go for but um, just kind of pulling everything together so it all made sense so okay I was going for the the dynasty look you know with the, um, the big jewels and the broad shoulders and the highly polished look um, that's generally what I was trying to go for. So when I went online, I saw this dress and I thought that would be fantastic. I can make the sleeves or the shoulders look pretty big and bulky, just like in the 80s. And it kind of gave me an 80s vibe, in my opinion. So that's the look I was uh, planning on going on. Okay, so here are the details as far as like measurements and at that time I don't think I had my measurements and I was going I had purchased this off of Amazon so I was going off of their recommendation and so this is what the dress looks like before um, I actually putting it on I was um, recommended a size small which I knew that sounded crazy but I thought maybe they might be onto something but anyway I went on and I put it on and as you can see it looked like this and um, yeah of course I had to ship it back I was planning on getting the same one again but I noticed that the price was different and I thought it was kind of crazy like why are they charging different prices for um, you know different dresses or whatever but apparently that's the thing um, you can see it's not even even in the front but, I mean uh, at the very bottom but um, yeah so uh, I decided to return this because they wanted to charge me like 40 50 dollars for the other one so I decided to get this one so it's a little bit uh, different. Um, it's a different feel or what have you. And here are the measurements. Um, so I finally got my own measurements with all my padding and whatnot. And here are the dimensions. So this time I followed the, um, the recommendation as far as like um, the measurements that were offered on the Amazon profile for that particular dress. So uh, I'm taking the, the dress out of the bag and it's pretty weighty. Um, as you can see here, I don't know, it gives you like a, a, a casual vibe, but it's almost kind of witchy, uh, like a witch or something. I don't know, but it's definitely not the direction I wanted my crew out of the veil to go in. So, uh, right here, I'm going to show you what it looks like when I, I put it on. Um, uh, it looks like it's okay, but, um, the problem is, is entirely, um, maybe a size too big. Um, it kind of like just uh, I don't know just lays all over my my body or whatever 
Um, here is what the front looks like. Um, I mean, it's not bad, but um, I don't know. I was thinking, you know what? I should probably get a smaller size. Now, this is with the, the Double D uh, stuff bra, the black one. And I'm trying to show you here. It's like it's so it sits so low. Uh, well, it's 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 too long. Okay, so it's too long, and I'm actually stepping on it when I walk on it. So I know that that's not the right size that I should be wearing. So uh, what I did was I just um, contacted up uh, Amazon, and I wanted a uh, reshipment. So um, yeah, I'm just showing you what everything looks like right here with the. I think this was an extra large. Well, anyway, I ended up getting a large. And you're going to see the difference in a few. So basically, uh, my uh, advice is uh, you don't go by your real body size. You go and measure yourself which are, with all of your padding and you go from there. So that's what I would suggest that um, you do. And this is what helped me get the right size or pretty close to the right size. So luckily, I was able to get a return and we'll see what happens after all of this. Okay, right here I'm just showing you with the pink bra. Um, I think that's a size C. Um, you can pretty much see through the fabric. And um, that's something I'll have to figure out. But as you can see, like the waist, it doesn't even sit proper. Um, so yeah, it's something I'll have to um, check into. But I will get a different size and few. Just a reminder, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, so this is the second attempt on this particular dress. Um, I had gotten a size smaller, um, a large in this case, with my proportions that I showed you earlier. Um, it's pretty much trial and error, you know? I mean, you have your measurements. You don't know whether to go up or down with these fabrics because this particular fabric, it was very heavy and uh, it drapes over your body. So um, yeah, that's what I got here. And it's stretchy. So maybe that has something to do with it. Honestly, I don't know, but I'm just trying to figure all of this stuff out. So this one right here, it's, um, it's the same dress. It's just a size smaller. So I'm gonna try it on and we're gonna see how that looks. All right, well here you see uh, it fits a lot better. Um, I think this is the larger of the of the the bras, the padded bra that I have, the little black one. That's a double D, so I'm just showing you what it looks like so far. And I'm gonna give you a look and see what all of my uh, my undergarments or whatever look like that I have my padding in and what have you. Um, that's something I'm gonna have to correct because the hips are getting a little too pointy, so I'll have to figure something out about that. But um, that's for another video. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you a close-up of the the bra. Uh, it kind of like peeks through now that I've gotten a smaller size. And you can see this is the black one. So this is the double D and this is what it looks like. Okay, so I'm giving you a look of um, what it looks like with the C cup. As you can see, you can still see the pink in between or through the fabric. Um, I heard of, I've, I've heard of such a thing as um, a slip, and I think I may have to try that next. Um, to kind of try to cover all of that up because you can kind of see through the fabric. But again, I'm just showing you the bottom um, with all of my padding and whatnot um, that you've seen in my previous videos. So just um, give you an idea what's going on here. Okay, here's a, a close-up of the bra. Uh, this was a size C. And like I said before, you can actually see uh, the pink in there. And it's not uh, very uh, modest. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm, I like this one a lot better than the previous one. So I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do about the transparency of this dress. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.